בוקר אור רבותיי, ברשות מעלת הרב. Just to uh, discuss a question that uh, came up over the Hag. Usually after the Hagim, we like to review some halachot that uh, people ask over the holiday. So we have them uh, documented. So we know for next year, if anybody asks the question, we already have the, uh, we have the answer. So this year uh, was Haga Pesach, and the Yom Tov fell out on Shabbat. So the Shulchan Aruch is very clear when the Yom Tov falls out on Shabbat, so we have to adjust the tefillah. We have to, instead of saying Mekadesh Yisrael Ba'azemanim, we have to say Mekadesh HaShabbat Ba'Yisrael Ba'azemanim. Maran in Taf Pezayin actually says in Halakha Aleph, Imhal B'Shabbat, Omer, Et Yom HaManoa Hazeh, ואת יום חג המסות הזה, יום המנוח is the day of rest. We don't have that custom to say יום המנוח, our custom is to say יום השבת הזה, ואת יום חג המסות הזה, וחותם מקדש השבת לישראל והזמנים. And the reason why we say מקדש השבת, we say שבת always first because שבת is more תדיר than יום טוב. So therefore, we say את יום השבת הזה ואת יום חג המסות הזה. Shabbat will always come first. Furthermore, uh, we say uh, our custom, Matitinanu Hashem Eloheinu Be'ahaba. Et Yom Chag HaMasot Hazeh, Et Yom HaShabbat Hazeh, Et Yom Chag HaMasot Hazeh, Be'ahaba Mikra Kodesh, Zeker Sam Mitzrayim. Our custom is to say the word Be'ahaba twice, but I'm not going into customs now. You have your own customs. You'll ask the Rav what the custom is with saying Be'ahaba twice. But what we came to discuss today is a case that happened where after the Amidah somebody came along and said Kvod Arab, I was spraying the Amidah I said, Yom HaShabbat Hazeh Et Yom Tov, Mekra Kodesh Hazeh etc. But then I ended the Beracha Baruch Atah Hashem, Mekadesh HaShabbat I just ended with Shabbat. I did not say Yisrael Vazemanim Do I have to repeat the Amidah? So this is a very, very strong question. The first idea that came to my mind is, he has to repeat the Amidah. Why? Because the Gemara in Betzah and Daf Yud Zayin, there has a mahloket between Bet Hillel and the rabbi called the Rabbi. Bet Hillel said that all you have to say is Mekadesh HaShabbat. However, the Rabbi comes along and says, no, you have to say Mekadesh HaShabbat Yisrael Vazemanim. And then the Gemara says, Ve'elcheta Kerebi. So the Alakha is like Rebi. That means Rebi is arguing on Betelel. If we would be posek like Betelel, then he would be good. Mekadesh HaShabbat is enough. But the Alakha goes out of its way to say Ve'elcheta Kerebi. So we're stuck. The Rebi said you have to say Mekadesh HaShabbat Yisrael Vazemanim. If you didn't say it like that, you mishaneh memadbeya. You change from the way the rabbis want you to make the Beracha. However, later I found a bi'ur halakha in the same siman in Tafezayin. It's amazing the bi'ur halakha, the Hafez Chaim, he was an expert not only in the Talmud Babli, but he was an expert in the Talmud Yerushalmi. If you remember in those days, 100 years ago, they didn't have all these books available. But the Hafez Chaim, he knew it. And he said that he found a Talmud Yerushalmi, and Yerushalmi brings the opinion of Rabbi as well. And in Yerushalmi it says, Rabbi Omer, Hotem Baruch Mekadesh HaShabbat, period. And then the Yerushalmi says, Be'elcheta ki Rabbi. So it says, it sounds like in Yerushalmi that Rabbi's opinion is like Betelel of the Babli. So the Fetz Haim says, what's going on over here? We cannot make a mahloket and run Rabbi's opinion in what he said in Babli and what he said in Yerushalmi. So the Hafez Chaim says, there's no argument over here. Really, the B holds in essence, it's enough to say, Mekadesh HaShabbat. I, in the Babli, he said, you should say, Mekadesh HaShabbat Zemanim, Ed Yom Tov, Zelech HaTachina, Mi Yom Tov. But in the essence, there's no mahlok between the B and Betelel. And therefore the Hafez Chaim says, because of this, if somebody was Chotem, Baruch HaTashem, Mekadesh HaShabbat, and he did not say 
Yisrael Bazemanim is Yotze. And he brings some rabbis that concur with that opinion. And Hacham Avadya, Allah Shalom, and Hazor Avadya also says that Midi'abad, if somebody just said Baruch Atta Hashem, Mekadesh HaShabbat, and he forgot to say Yisrael Bazemanim, so then he would have a problem. However, the opposite would not be true. Let's say the person came along and said, Baruch Atta Hashem, Mekadesh Yisrael Bazemanim, and he forgot to say Shabbat, there you're not being Yotze. Because there, everybody held, you have to mention at least Shabbat and the Hatima. The question is, do you have to mention Yom Tov and the Hafez Chaim makes that Chiluk as well in the Gur Halacha. He says, whereas if a person did not mention Yom Tov, there already it's a, uh, it's a uh, or did not mention Shabbat, so then already it's a, it's, it's, it's a problem. But as long as he mentioned uh, Shabbat, he'll be okay. But Yom Tov, again, uh, 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 as, as we made the Chiduk between Shabbat and Yom Tov. So, the if one was Chotem, Baruch Atta Hashem, Mekadesh Shabbat alone, Yatsa, however, if it was Mekadesh, Yisrael, Zemanim, without the Shabbat, no Yatsa.